three money magic books that I think everybody should own. And no surprise, the Gallery of Magic have created absolutely awesome money magic books. Now, if I take these in turn, I'm gonna start with this, which is Wealth Magic, and it's called Wealth Magic, The Secrets to Extreme Prosperity. All right, a couple of things about this book. I've done it. It takes a long time to work your way through, so you gotta be really committed to wanting to grow your wealth. And it's if you're after a quick fix, then this really isn't the book for you. I've got, I'll review the other two books in a second. They're much more likely to be uh, in that vein. This is uh, a long book. It, it took me a long time to get through. I think it was at least six months, could have been longer. I can't really remember. I did it about five or 10 years ago now. And a couple of points about this book. Number one, um, one of the workings in here for the month that you do that working and you do a working every single day or you do a spell every day for a considerable amount of time, that working you actually feel, I felt quite nauseous. Damon Brown talks about this. He does say the best way to do this is to push through, but uh, this book's really not for everybody, okay? You've got to be committed to growing your wealth. This is not a quick fix. This is a long haul, lots of magic every day that needs to be done, but the results are definitely worth it. Uh, the rumor was that um, for some reason the Gallery of Magic stopped uh, printing this book and it was selling online apparently for like a thousand dollars a go. So people have bought the book and then realized the power of it, used it, did the spells, started generating the wealth and decided to sell the book on and for a thousand dollars. And so the Gallery of Magic republished this book, I guess to stop that in a way. And you can buy it for like $20 or less. I mean, it's not an expensive book. It's deceptively thin but it takes a while to work through. And like I said, you really got to commit to the process. The other thing that's worth mentioning, and it really applies to any kind of money magic that you might end up doing, is what's your set point? What's your starting point? And Damon talks about this. He goes, look, if you're starting from $200, then extreme prosperity could be $120,000. But if you're starting from 2 million, $120,000 is not extreme prosperity. It's gonna be like 20 million. So your starting point is really important when it comes to kind of using magic and money books like this. All right, so that's the first one. So if this is about extreme wealth, then this is about uh, wealth creation, but more, it's more immediate, but it's a lesser amount in my opinion. This book is, absolutely fantastic I've done a lot of spells in here and the great thing about this book is it's not just about uh, attracting money there are whole areas in here which is about things like um, the splendor of money balancing money taking uh, money out of the magic taking uh, uh, emotional alchemy, where you get money from, what's your secret source of money. If you day trade, for example, there's a ritual in here, which I saw a moment ago, um, which is all about buying and selling. There's attract money through perception. There's all kinds of things that are really great in this book and I've used it and it's fantastic. So just in terms of how I've used these three books, I started with this one and then I went to this one because this is the sort of king of these three books and just allows you to generate money over the long term. This is about generating money over more of the short term in different ways. And then finally, we have the Magical Cash Book. Again, don't be under any illusion. This is a fantastic book as well. Um, it enables you to kind of create what I'm gonna call short-term money. So if you want $500 to pay a bill, for example, this book can generate small amounts of money quickly for you. And you create another book off the back of this, which I have somewhere on my bookshelf over there. And I've used this book as well. So these are the three brilliant uh, books on magic and money that I recommend every kind of in person interested in magic and money, they should own these books because they're really fantastic. All right, I hope you found that useful.